All right, what is going on guys? Mizoid here. Welcome back to a series I have not done in a long time. Archon Outlands or Rust as you guys may know it as. So since I haven't done Outlands in a while, I'll probably be doing a lot of explaining this episode and actually showing off the game mode a lot more. But if you guys are familiar with the Steam game called Rust, that is basically what Outlands is, but basically on Minecraft. So if you guys want to redeem a free rank on the Outlands realm or any realm on the Archon, go ahead and go to shop.thearchon.net and use the code ZOIDFREE in the section that says free rank from YouTuber and you can redeem a free tier one rank. So we're going to head on over to Outlands right here. It just reset, I think like this weekend. So um, yeah, we're getting the custom resource pack on and I'll bring you guys back in a second. All right. So I'm I'm in the Outlands realm, as you can see, and we spawned out here. There's a bunch of stuff all over the place that you guys may not know. So there's a bunch of crates right here. There's monthly crates, king crates, hydra, darius, ore piles. There's the store, which goes over all the ranks and stuff like that. The ranks, tier lock, gladiator ranking, schedule, clan, a bunch of stuff all over the place. And here, like, showcases all the blocks. You can get different blocks for your base. All right, guys, so we're going to get right on into it and teleport out into the real world right now. And we are here. We are going to give ourselves a world map and see where we are located. So, oh, we are like in the corner of the world. I'm not sure if I want to be here. So I'm going to have to drive this ATV and go find a new place to be. But all I know, guys, is we're going to have a great map. You know, this is the third wipe of Outlands, I believe. And it's going to last around three weeks, I think. So if you guys want to hop on and play, it's a pretty fun map. It just released, so you guys know. But yeah, I was AFK at spawn, and someone actually dropped me a UMP and a Yoka as well. So like, I'm going to keep those. But I also have a bunch of kits I can do. But we got to find a place to settle first. And once we do that, we can make our base, you know, make some chests and all that. And we should be pretty good. All right, guys, I think I found the perfect place to make our base, like right here. If I can place it down, I don't know if that's too close, but we're going to go ahead and place one down. So we're in the middle of like two cities and a cave, which is really, really good. So, all right, right here, I think that, I mean, that works. So we're pretty good. All right, so we are going to start by actually making our shelter. That's just a quick one. So right click this and we will make a shelter. So I'm going to right click this right here. And now we have our first shelter, you know, just basic stuff. Um, it just costs less to actually make this uh, than it would to actually build it all up so it's pretty good and we can just place down um the wooden door for now because i mean the iron door i'll place down later when i actually have the whole base set up uh, i'm gonna make a code if you guys want to guess the code down below anyone that guesses it i will heart your comment and pin it and uh, maybe you'll win a prize or something i don't know if anyone will guess it though no one's ever guessed any of my codes that i've done all right it has been added we're just gonna run on in here we can put some stuff away now so oh also since we are a partner we have a hidden backpack that stays with us even when we die so i'm gonna put a bunch of the important stuff away in there i uh, like this stuff because that is also Super important and the special supply job that is important as well so we're gonna wait we're gonna start by actually building up our base so by doing that i mean i'll keep this here for now but the main idea is that we just want to get a big wall started and then obviously we can upgrade our like areas more and more and this can get a lot bigger and stuff and then we can upgrade our walls and all that but we're gonna start like this i think this guy right here he did the same thing where he just built up a wall and then he expanded his claim and stuff and you can see right there some of is someone's base but yeah a lot of people do this and they have like a bunch of different doors to get in there and stuff like that but yeah i'm gonna get started on this and i'll bring you guys back but it should be pretty cool all right so we have a few kits i know we have the predator hitman and hero i believe but we can't get any of these other ones so we're gonna go ahead and redeem the dailies because those actually give blocks that we need i think all of them do yeah you can see actually no we do not have the hitman we do have paragon though so that'll give us tier one and tier two and i don't know if we have any other ones let me check uh it's looking like we have recruiter as well so all right so from those kits we have about two stacks of wooden blocks some reinforced ones as well which is good i can also redeem this backpack so now we have a tier three backpack which you can see on my back it's a lot bigger and it has a lot more space right here as well all right so i placed all the tier two blocks the best i could and we're out now i wanted to keep doing the checkerboard pattern i'm not sure if i want to just stop building it now and actually wait to get those because i have these tier ones i could place for now but i don't know if i want to waste them i mean i probably nah, i probably should just build up the walls so yeah i'm gonna build up these walls but we're actually doing pretty good with all the resources and stuff we use i just used the kit by the way i used the recruiter one which actually guys if you get if you redeem the free rank on the store you can get this kit as well but i got a bunch of wood from it so i just made some more tier blocks and i'm just go ahead and finish these walls which is pretty pretty quick all right so we built up the walls pretty high and i think that's how it is we also have two iron doors now to make it a little bit safer when running in so people can't follow us and uh yeah so now i think i'm going to just be opening up a bunch of the crates and kits i have because i want to get more wood and stuff so i can finish off the roof and so i can make a bunch of chests and actually gear up the inside of our base all right so i just went ahead and redeemed the predator weekly kit so you can only redeem this every seven days and i can't actually put this on as you guys know because of the cooldown thing actually i didn't explain this yet but there is a cooldown between how long you can actually equip op armor after the release of the server so that's 
actually equal playing ground for people that aren't donators and that are donators actually get this right away so you can actually put this on for about 39 more hours as you can see so right here we're on stage three stage four unlocks in 10 hours so we can only actually use a g36 a spaz a crossbow thompson mp5 and a stone sword you can't use any of the diamond swords or kevlar armor yet but um yeah we're getting there that's just a way of keeping the playing ground pretty equal between donators and non-donators who get stuff right away like this however we did get a lot of actually mystery crates so i'm gonna do all my like kits and stuff i'm gonna put all this stuff away in my backpack and all that and i can also set up these turrets and stuff as well outside the base but i'm gonna go put this stuff away and we're just gonna load up all, all of our crates that we need to open and we'll open them all together i'm actually gonna go ahead and place down our mining quarry because this is actually gonna give us a lot of stuff if i place it right here it's gonna like glitch in the wall but it, it's just a little texture error but as you can see i can fill the fuel with the mining quarry fuel and that's gonna get started and uh now oh i gotta actually link a chest so that's the only bad thing i should probably get that done so um, I think I can pause it really quick. So yeah, I just picked it up because I, I don't have actually a chest to link it to. That's also the reason why I want to open these crates in case I get logs to actually make a chest. Because I do need to make a chest, as you can see. All right, guys, we have 14 crates to open for you guys. We have two recipe crates, as you can see right here. We have a ore pile crate, which basically an ore pile, you place it in your claim and it actually regenerates ores over time that you can just keep mining over and over. Then we have nine mystery crates that will give you another crate, like a certain type of crate, because this is like a recipe crate. This is an ore pile crate. It'll give you one of these. And then we have explosive crates right here. So we're gonna go ahead and open up these ones first because this will actually obviously give us one of the crates that we wanna get. And uh, yeah, so I'll bring you guys back. I'm pretty sure Darius and all those ones are the really good ones. All right, so we got a recipes crate. I don't really want recipe crates, to be honest. Like I said, I want Darius or Hydra. Now uh, we just got a Darius crate. That is good. That is a legendary item. Like I said, that is one of the best ones that I'm looking for. All right, we just got two loot crate ones. I'm not sure. That just gives us uh, those ones right there. Okay, another loot crate ones, two of those. All right, we got some ore piles crate. That is a legendary one as well. Ore piles are pretty good as well, so that's pretty good that we got more of those. All right, we just got some recipe crates and loot crate ones right there again. Oh, we got a Darius crate. That's another one that's really good. I'm hoping, can we get a Hydra one? But this is the last one right here and we got loot crate ones once again all right so we can start opening up all of these we also do have that supply drop to open as well but i don't want to do that until i have more inventory space all right so we're going to start off with the good ones and actually open up the darius crates because those are the ones that actually give like weapons we have two of these to open so you can see we got a special a buff or a tag a rare plus armor a shield or a buff or common armor looks like we can get a bunch of stuff from this so we're going to go ahead and get it and we got Looks like we got a code life using on tool coverage to code life to increase one health and protection, soldier leggings, forest, and a loot buff. A global, we got two global buffs as well. So that's pretty good. All right, I'm pretty sure I one in here. So yeah, that's good. All right, I think I can put this one on. Yeah, forest is the max right now. I can't put on soldier still. We can save those. I don't think I'll use those. And here's the last Darius crate. We'll open this one up and see what we get. And we got code life, radiation global, soldier boots, soldier boots, and resources 50% global. All right, so those are like pretty good. I was expecting a little bit better, but that's okay. We're going to open up the recipe ones. I'll probably go through this as quick as I can because recipes are just, you know, recipes. All right, we got a wooden base recipe, which is actually good. That's to actually upgrade our how big our base is. Kevlar recipe leggings for legendary, and it's infinite. That's really good. And an iron pickaxe. So we can go ahead and redeem all of those. That's actually really good. And next, bike recipe, soldier helmet recipe, crossbow recipe, and code life. We'll just go ahead and redeem all those. Iron axe, diamond sword doors and another code life and the last recipe create gave us an ioko weapon a homemade large backpack and forest boots so we can go ahead and redeem all those as well it looks like we're actually completing a bunch of missions i think so i'm gonna do mailbox oh we actually have a bunch of stuff to open um i'll just wait about that but you can see right here people are buying my cords already i'm guessing i'm probably gonna be raided by next episode that's usually what happens all right now we're gonna open up the ore crates because you know that'll give us the ore piles so we're gonna go ahead and just get these really quick we got ore piles Illegal farms and ore piles three by three. So we got two by twos and three by threes. Here's the next one. And two by two, three by three, and more illegal farms. So we got some ore piles. I'll probably place these down when I actually have this like removed and stuff like that. But uh, that is pretty good. We can open up the explosive now. This is mainly for raiding and stuff. So yeah. And we got 12 explosives. And we got three explosives right here as well. All right, I just opened up all those crates and we got USP weapon recipes. We got iron doors. We got two chests, which are actually good. We actually needed those. Iron axe, anaconda, wooden base, and iron sword. I believe I already redeemed a lot of these, so I can't get all of them. But uh, yeah, so I can keep put those away. But yeah, we got these chests. That's actually really needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place it right here, I think. For now, go ahead, place these down. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start storing stuff away. Actually, I could probably do the mining quarry now, but I, I don't wanna do that right now. All right, the next big thing we'll be doing is placing down our special supply drops. Supply drops are actually really, really good on these servers. So I just summoned one in. That actually just finished another mission. So I can actually get rid of more stuff from that mailbox. But yeah, it's gonna drop right here. It's gonna a little slow, but once it gets here, there's a lot, usually a lot of OP loot in here, which is really good. Oh, there we go. We just opened up. All right, we got C4, protection stars, illegal farms, bunch of SP, trap door, iron axe, forest, Kevlar wooden base forest spruce all right we got solar chest plate forest boots which is actually good because that is the max right now a bed 
homemade explosives and submachine gun ammo crossbow another chest which is good explosives g36 that's the best ar we can use right now so that's really helpful as well wooden blocks homemade explosives pistols forward shotgun ammo all right so we are good to go i'm gonna go ahead and redeem all these as much as i can i still have some like extra so yeah you can see i have these ones as extras and we got those which is really good as well all right we went ahead and placed that single chest right here and we actually linked up the mining quarry so this is going to be using the fuel for a while and actually filling up this chest with a bunch of stone and sulfur which is actually going to help us out because a lot of recipes actually require like stone and stuff if we go in here we can see uh protection blocks we have furnaces that require stone a bunch of tools require stone you can see right here iron sword stone sword stuff like that and uh, even like a bicycle so there's a bunch of stuff all over the place all right guys so i just used our kit which gives all this stuff right here and as you can see we have 10 wooden bases and three stone bases and that means we can actually upgrade our base to level two so we're going to go ahead and do that if i walk outside here you can now see that we have a very extended claim so it's really good so this is our main base now we have more space out here that i actually placed a bunch of stuff down for example i know i have some turrets and i have like an anti-aircraft that we can place down right here as well so that's really really good and uh now we're kind of missing some wood and stuff so i need to go and actually get wood so that's why i got these stone pickaxes and axes right here and i'm gonna put this stuff away i'm also gonna open up these gun crates and see what we can get from these but uh, yeah we definitely need more wood to actually make chests and like store our stuff away and we need to finish this roof and we're gonna work on a second layer up top here as well oh yo there's a a mega bear right here i didn't even realize this dude this is a full-on mega bear oh shoot it's actually kind of smoking me okay i gotta try and kill this without dying but mega bears actually drop a lot of good stuff i'm sorry about the how loud it is i don't i do have enough ammo to kill this i think i'm pretty sure that's why this guy is here he like randomly found me i'm pretty sure he found me because the mega bear like oh my god look how fast this guy is uh because it like alerts in chat when the mega bear spawns guys i have two bullets oh no dude it's so fast Oh god. Oh, there's a wolf. Oh my god. <laughs> They're chasing me to my my base, dude. I need to go inside. I need to go inside and get some uh I need to get more rifle ammo. Wait, he said it's right here. Oh my god, it was hiding in the bushes, bro. What's up, bud? Okay. Oh, I killed it. <gasps> I just got a bunch of stuff right there. Oh, we just got two three G36s. And I think I got ammo from that as well, dude. Oh, yeah, sniper ammo. That's pretty good. We did pretty good. Also, we got a mystery crate because someone, like, bought the highest rank. And you type slash GG, you get it. So that's pretty good. Uh, we have enough, like, wood to actually build some more chests. I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, I built two more chests. I'm going to go ahead and this is still going. So I'm going to leave that to go. And I'm just going to place some more right here. All right, so we have more chests right here. I want to put this stuff away. And now we need to focus on actually finishing the base. So I need to get more wood for <laughs> building the roof and stuff like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up all these seven gun crates, and I'll let you guys know what we get, but uh, I'll bring you guys back when they're all open. All right, guys, we just won a bunch of stuff. We actually got an epic item, an AS-50 right here. So it's a sniper, an uncommon sniper, which I think, is this like the intervention? Yeah, I think it is. And we also got an MP5, which is good because we can use that now, and an uncommon G36 just like this one. And we got a mythic USPS. I don't know if we can use this one right now, but that is really, really good. You can see the damage is 4.1. I mean, that might look bad, but like a mythic pistol is really good. All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and set up a turret right here in front of our base. Probably like right here would be good. All right, so this is going to be here. I'm going to activate it right here. And all right, so it is now activated and good. So now I'm actually going to put some illegal farms like right here because I think that's actually a good idea considering turret will protect like it so no, no one will be able to loot it and stuff so no i don't think i want it right there okay i think i'm gonna, I'm gonna put, put some right there so that's good all right so yeah there's there's some legal farms right there so that's good now you can just freaking start mining them and you actually get the ethanol and the tissue from that and they just regen over time anyone can go over here and mine them but if they do my turret should be able to stop them um i can also put some more i mean i might as well know not right there all right so there's some more we can just mine those as well all right we also have some ore piles to place down so i'm gonna place these down outside as well so this will allow us to if i go right here all right so that that's how you do it okay well we have a three by three right there so that's good um i think i can place another one right there okay there's some more three by three so that actually gives like some protection too to be honest um i could probably put some more a two by two will I'm not sure how it places all right like that so i can go like that there we go so we just placed down some more i can place down right there as well all right so we have a lot of ores outside our base that are permanently regenerating over time so i can just completely mine over and over right there and get a lot of ores so that's actually really really good i'm actually going to show you guys here if I take out a pickaxe and we can go outside and i can show you guys we can just mine right here we can get iron so it'll despawn but it'll all eventually come back so i'm gonna mine all this up and i'll bring you guys back all right so i just mined all of it up and you can see we got a bunch of stuff we got sulfur we got iron we got coal stone and refined titanium so this will all eventually respawn back and i I believe it's all random ores it's not gonna be the same ores all over again and uh, yeah so we can just keep doing that over and over we basically have our own personal cave even though we did build near a cave so that's pretty good all right guys so from everything i've done so far i'm actually level 15 and we have 75 research points so if we're gonna research we can actually upgrade a bunch of
of stuff. So I think I'm gonna upgrade, chance to find more items a couple of times. We'll just do those. We already used a lot of points right there. Craft equipment with rarity. I'll do that. Guns with rarity and items with rarity. I'll probably do all those a bunch, see how much we can do. All right, we just got a bunch of that. All right, we're out of research points. We leveled up those a lot, which is really good. And we are close to Insignia 1, which when we have that, we actually get a new kit and particles. That's pretty good. All right, so I don't know if I even like, explained this, but we did actually clear up our whole middle of our base. So it's all set up. We're good. We got a password protected chest right here. Uh, we have this still going. We're getting a lot of sulfur, iron, stuff like that. And we're going to go ahead and do slash mailbox. As you guys know, we've done a lot of challenges, which has led us to have a lot of rewards. So I'm going to open up a bunch of these. Just keep doing that. Here we go. We're getting a lot of stuff. And I guess I'll just redeem all these and see what we have. All right. So we're here. We got 16 reinforced wood, 11 gun crates, 17 common crates, three random mystery crates, loot crates, a loot crate two, and these two wet weapon recipes, which I believe I already used both of them. Yeah, I already have. So we're going to go ahead and put these away. And now I'm just going to go start replacing these in our walls. We're almost actually done with all the tier two ones of the first floor. So I'm going to go ahead and place these down. All right. So we've actually fully protected our first floor with all tier one and tier two blocks right here. I think these are tier two. Oh, actually, I think these are just considered tier one. But as you guys know this is just our first floor we need to do the roof and probably the second floor as well once we get to that point so we can get like protected against like helicopter raids and stuff like that i think that's a thing but uh, anyways we're gonna start opening these up i'm probably gonna do it all off camera because it takes a little bit to open them all and uh, i'll bring you guys back actually i found a way to open them all up really quick so we're gonna get all these rewards coming in right now from the common crates all right here a bunch of them are i think we got actually another crate from one so yeah we got a bunch of tools we got a ump sulfur wooden helmet stuff like that all over place nothing really that good but i mean pretty good oh we got a level two stone pickaxe that's better than what we had before all right, time for the loot crate ones. We can just go ahead and open all these up really quickly and see what we get. All right, here we go. USP weapon SP, reinforced wood, simple stair SP, stone, MP5 SD weapon SP, and iron. So we got a bunch of recipes. I think we've, yeah, we got two of them already and we got some more stuff right here. All right, next, I think these are a little bit more important because uh, these can actually give you like good crates. So we're going to have all those spin and we'll see what we get. All right, let's see what we get for the first crate. We got a common crate a common crate and a loot crate too so nothing too good all right so from those crates we are going to win small med kits stone axe iron ore and stone all right now it is time to open up these gun crates all right we should be getting them right now so here they all are going to roll in right now we got a g36 an ak47 mp5 a thompson a neoka usb a spaz 12 a neoka a g36 mp5 and a g36 so we're actually pretty loaded on guns for this map already guys so um yeah we're doing really well right now so you can see the ores have started to regenerate right here so that's a pretty much how it works so that'll be always there for the whole map which is actually really really good obviously unless we get raided and everything is destroyed but yeah i'm just gonna get a bunch of wood so we can make more chests and have a lot more storage room guys we just leveled up to level 20 so we now have a new kit for being insignia level one so you can see we're gonna get two gun crates and a pv here i might as well just redeem those right now and uh, yeah i'm just gonna keep on mining these logs guys we just want a legendary mp5 from that gun crate so that's actually really really good we're like almost stacked up on what we need so i placed down some more chests and we're looking pretty good for a base right now honestly oh i hear someone outside dude should I try and get some P I might have trying to get some P Oh, he's dying to my turret. Oh my god, that guy's like the max rank. So that's not actually a good idea. <laughs> All right, guys. So I took some time to actually organize everything that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and open this chest. This is our armor chest, guys. So we only have like a decent amount of armor. Like we got some like wooden and some reinforced stuff. We got some soldier stuff too, which is good. I'm actually going to put this in our safe chest right here. But we also have some soldier stuff in here as well. This is our like backpack. I'm going to put that out as well. I forgot to actually empty this. And then our hidden backpack. Is there someone outside? Oh, it's a mod. What the heck? Anyways, we're going to go into our hidden backpack, and you can see we have some Kevlar right here um, and a nice little sniper. So I'm going to put the rare soldier away right here because that is actually pretty good. Everything else, though, I'll put into this chest right here. All right, next, like I said, are the weapons. So these are all of our weapons we have. We have a bunch of stuff all over the place. You can just pause and see if you want to see. But I think the best ones we have right now are this uncommon AK and all this uncommon stuff right here, as well as the legendary MP5 I have right here, uncommon and a legendary USPS. And then this is just our ammo right here ammo is always like the hardest thing that i always run out of so i'm gonna put that away and then in here we have coal iron and then right here is like our, like our resources chest we got leaves leather ethanol tissues explosives we got the med kits we got wood we got a bunch of stuff all over the place we got wooden base stone base and iron base and to upgrade to the next one we need two iron base which i think we have we have six stone base but we don't have 45 wooden base so oh no actually we need more stone base as well but we can get that and that'll be able to upgrade to the next tier and then right here's like our rares and valuables chest where just like a bunch of stuff you get from crates so we got all these global resource things repair kits backpacks recipes stuff like that all over the place 
a bed would be good as well but yeah everything is basically sorted so we're doing pretty well right now i mean that's the whole situation we're at right here and if we go out here we can see that we have our legal farm still going like, and uh, all of our stuff is regenerated i'm not gonna mine right now but you guys can see we're doing really really well right now we also currently have 170 season points so that means if we go into the shop we can actually see if you guys don't know the season pass but you get points over time and you can actually spend it on things so these are like recipes and stuff i don't need any of these blocks you can get some stuff here for money but i think what i want to get is wooden bases i can spend a lot of it on wooden bases there's also stuff here but i don't really want any of this um personal stuff yeah i don't really need this either so i'm just gonna spend it on wooden bases because uh, i do want to actually upgrade our base all the way so i'm gonna spend all of our points on that and i'll bring you guys back all right we're out of season points we got six of those wooden bases we can go ahead and put those away so now we have 12 we do need more stone bases but we can get the rest of the wooden bases because we actually have the recipe for it we just need 230 logs per so it's not that bad yeah i mean we're doing really well right now all the stuff is sorted we have a lot of stuff all over the place which is really good so um yeah i'll bring you guys back in a second all right guys so i'm actually gonna end off today's video right here reason being is i just edited all the clips and i brought down like almost an hour of clips all the way down to 20 minutes and it's super compact and stuff so we've made a lot of progress this episode and i want to edit it off here because i don't want to keep dragging it out but if you guys are wanting to see the next episode go ahead and leave a like down below it should be a pvp episode we'll be able to actually use all the stuff we have i mean we're just stacking up a bunch of stuff you can see i have five hours play time on the right side of your screen and uh you know it's been a pretty good it's been a pretty good ride so far so guys leave a like down below hope you guys did enjoy you know i try to show off a lot of the star of the world for today um we're super rich on like everything guys you can see but uh yeah that's gonna be all for today so i will bring you guys back in another video. Listen.